in this lecture we are going to see some uh, more important uh, concept <coughs> we need step response of an lj system now we have seen impulse response h of t or h of n right so what is this meaning of impulse response is so we know that y of n is equal to x of n convolved with h of n this is the the response of any system now what what is the name impulse response scheme is for input x of n is equal to delta n so this is we call it as a impulse signal whenever we give an input as x of n as delta n or h of t is equal to delta t for continuous signals the y of t or response of system is called impulse response see from this expression i can say x of n is delta n so convolve with h of n so we know that when i convolve with delta n we will get h of n itself so see the output is is h of n now how to find delta n so i already given in the previous lecture right if you convolve with <coughs> h x of t convolve with delta t minus t not in place of x of t in place of t we will substitute the overall delta function so t minus t not. similarly x of delta n is convolved with h of n in place of n so i will place here so it will become h of n only that's why it is called impulse response now what do you mean by step unit step response if x of n is equal to u of n or h of t is equal to u of t then the system response y of t or y of n is called unit step response now how to find unit step response s of t is equal to x of t i am replacing with u of t convolve with h of t or s of n is equal to u of n convolve with h of n now we know the formula of the uh, convolution is if it is a discrete minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k so x of k is given as u of t so it is become a, so some uh, up to n only right so we will go for up to n and this is unit step is only one so i will get h of k as like this <coughs> that is the summation of the impulse response is nothing but unit step response or integration of impulse response is nothing but unit step response right <coughs> or we can say so integration of impulse response is step response or we can say differentiation of step step response we will get impulse response if it is a discrete uh, time so the difference between s of n and s of n s of n minus 1 we will get impulse response for discrete time signals right so remember these properties or this because